Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new series, experimentation, something. The series is called I Have Never Watched Blank Until Today. And today is something I actually would have never thought I'd be saying or doing. But we're doing My Little Pony. Those are words I never thought I'd speak into existence. This has been a show that I've always sort of seen out and about in the sphere of cartoons. And I know there's like a big following for this actually, uh, especially too with the male demographic. I think they call them bronies or something like that. Um, so I wanna see what all the hype is about, even though this might be 10 years later, but oh well. So this episode will contain the first two episodes, which is basically just part one and part two. So I'm going to probably take a little break at the end of part one just to kind of gather some thoughts and then we'll go straight into episode two or part two. If you guys want to see the full unedited reactions, you go and join the Patreon and support me there. You can maybe ask for more episodes because I'm not sure if the series is a long standing one for the channel. So if you want this to be a mainstay on the channel, like the video, subscribe, do all those YouTube things. I don't like asking for them, but, but to be honest, that's probably what's going to be the deciding factor if this were to continue. So with that being said, let us experience this together, at least with me. <laughs> My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Episode 1. Friendship is magic, part one. The two yes, we got a yin and yang. And their sub but the bitterness in the young one's heart had transformed her into a wicked mare of darkness. Why do I have some goosebumps? <laughs> she vowed that she would shroud the land in eternal night. Dang. And banished her permanently in the moon. Banished? Oh, she's like in the moon like forever. The elder sisters. Well, surely they'll never be that coming back. Part of those before. <laughs> I remember this, uh, the My Little Pony from the, from the toy commercials. Twilight. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna say the names out loud, because I need to remember. <laughs> I remember my friend once got mad that I kept studying over friendship. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of weird. I'm like, bro, like, I'm trying to Spike. Spike. just have a high GPA. <laughs> Good vocabulary. Oh, what? They don't believe in it? My dear Twilight, there is more to a young pony's life than studying. So I'm sending you to supervise the preparations. No, nah, they're not about to say friendship is over humanity or something. Hello? <laughs> what the heck happened? Applejack. We hear it's sweet. This here's Apple Fritter. Do I have to know all of these? <laughs> oh no. Let me guess. Your Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Okay. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. I heard you're supposed to be keeping the sky clear. I'm just here to check on the decorations and then I'll be out of your hair. <laughs> Makeover. Where are we going? Help! Oh my god, that guy's our person is no. uh-uh. Too green. Simpin. Too sir. I mean no offense, but your rhythm is just a tea. <laughs> oh. Now, They're an E minor. Supposed to be an E major. Hello. Wait, what? I'm Twilight Sparkle. Can she not socialize? Um, I'm Twilight Sparkle. Uh, my name is Flutter Shy. Oh my gosh, she has so much like social anxiety. It's adorable though. <laughs> well, um, it looks like you're Yes, everything's in order. Keep up the good work. Flutter shuttle something. Okay. A baby dragon! <laughs> oh, I've never seen a baby dragon. 
dragon before. Okay, he's a boy, but I, I need male ponies. Flutter, Fluttershy. This girl is adorable. <laughs> oh my god. Nice zoom in. Oh, nice design. It's been so long since I've seen your precious little well, tone shift here. I love it. What did you do with our princess? I've been imprisoned for a thousand mm -hmm. years. Did you not recall the legend? Yep. Did you not she was see right. the sign? I did, and I know who you are. To be continued. <laughs> I remember seeing this on like One Piece and Attack on Titan every time. So that was the pilot episode there's still another part but if that doesn't make you want to watch the next episode uh i don't know if you're watching them from the get-go they already established this more historical feeling of here's the sun and then the moon and then there's a battle and they kept everyone safe and everything and then we got to meet all the personalities around us let me see if i can remember from my memory we have Twilight Sparkle, the main character, someone who just kind of follows the rules, um, is kind of, I don't know if it's supportive is the word, but um, they're on top of things. Applejack, didn't really get much from them, but they're kind of like rowdy. Uh, Rainbow Dash, very loose cannon and somewhat master of the skies or the weather uh pinky pie i think that was the one uh i didn't get the white one but she's a very like royalty and bougie and fluttershy she was a very shy one and did the music and also has a thing for dragons maybe friendship maybe that was her thing was that she had social anxiety or super shy fluttershy but then when there's something that interests her, she goes, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And if that isn't relatable as hell, then I don't know what is. Um, I'm not going to say who I relate to the most yet. I'm going to probably wait for that till the very end. So let's get back into it. Seize her. Seize her. Show me that Enchiridion. <laughs> what? I promise you'll be safe. Got you right in the nick of time. Yes, Rainbow, I was there. And I'm very grateful. Yes. There's a softness to her. Oh, you poor, poor little baby. Little? I love her. Sometimes we all just need to be shown a little kindness. Hmm. That's right. Good lesson. <laughs> Pinky, what are you doing? I kind of like this structure where they're kind of showing the strengths of all the ponies. So they're needed because they all have different roles and approaches to things. So right now they're in a in a, in a in a situation where they should all be scared uh but she's not like that pinky pie i think that's her name before with fluttershy she was taking the more kindness soft approach that's really nice oh oh she cut off her own hair okay <laughs> yes deception in all Equestria. No question. And now we have a deal. No! It's them or us. Dang. Rainbow, what are you gonna choose? What's taking so long? So, see? I'd never leave my friends hanging. Nice. Oh, nice music here too, man. <laughs> she has gathered the Chaos Emeralds. Oh. What? Defeat me! You're wrong because the spirits of the elements of harmony are. Yes, that's okay. Yes, I was gonna 
say if they weren't gonna go into it that I think they all yeah they all represent a trait okay this is wow this is amazing structure yes yeah this is awesome this is awesome I got goosebumps too Yes. Represents the spirit of loyalty. Mm -hmm. The spirits of these five ponies got us through every challenge. So you what about you? You still don't have the spirit yeah. element. So what do you represent? Perseverance, a friendship. Kind of spark. I felt it the very moment. What is it? To hear you, to see you, how much I cared about you. Inside me, when I realized that you all are my friends. Oh, that's friendship, right? Okay. Yeah. The spark. The spark. That resides in the heart of us all. It creates the spirit <coughs> element. The element of magic. Oh, okay. So it's magic. Which would make sense, right? But, okay. So it's not like friendship or love. But when those five activate, the sixth one is magic. And together, okay, that's sick. Oh, are they all? Oh, I thought you were just spouting a lot of <laughs> But I reckon we really do represent the elements of Yeah. Life. Indeed you do. Oh, she's returned. I told you that you needed to make some friends. Not yes, anymore. yeah, right. I saw the signs of magic. Wow, that's actually crazy development. Magic inside to wow. her. But you could not unleash it until you let true friendship into your mm -hmm. heart. Gotta let that love in. As I have Princess seen, Luna. Yes. Time to put our differences. Put it behind. We were meant to rule together. Come on. Sister, will you accept my friendship? <laughs> Let me say my friend. It's so dramatic, but oh wow, man. So Aw. I missed you so much, big sister. This is so heartwarming. That's mm -hmm. just it. Just when I learn how wonderful it is to have friends, yeah. I have to leave them. You can stay, Spike, right? Take a note, please. Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that went. <gasps> but I mean, really. Wow. Oh my God. Whoa. I think this. Pilot was so good that like you don't really need more than this. And I'm not saying that to discount the seven, nine seasons, whatever it has. I'm saying that as a compliment to how well written it was. I was thinking that this second half, it was a little bit slower, but it was slower because it was showing you the personality traits of each pony. And then that comes into play with the reigniting of the elements of harmony. And it's crazy that I think the way that anime does friendship, I think sometimes it could not be the greatest thing or it's a cheap thing. But when you make it about it, there's something magical. We say magic of <laughs> it all connects. It's great. That had so much more depth to it than I would have ever expected. Also too, it had great music, nice character designs, the personalities are great. Um, they had a nice battle rivalry between the sisters and this battle of God sort of thing. They were going through their trials and tribulations and that way we were also learning more about the ponies and about their strengths or weaknesses. Yeah, wow. Wow. I am impressed. Because this pilot, these two episodes, they kind of had everything. You know, they had some nice comedy. They had some darker storytelling and those shifts every now and then. Uh, they had that warm cuddliness. And that's kind of what this show feels like. It feels like it's comforting. The personalities are fun. They engage very well. 
And if there's ever these stories where they need to kind of band together or there's a big threat, from this, it, it's kind of showing that the structure can be pretty good, that the involvement with everyone can be great. That actually kind of reminds me of uh, Anohana, if you guys have seen that one, in a way. Though that one's more, all the characters have their own baggage and relation. But, yeah, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Never would I have said that My Little Pony might be the best pilot I've seen. <laughs> like, for real. It, it's It's damn good. It's damn good. Again, so damn good. I don't even think I need to watch more because that was like a movie. Well, it was 40 minutes, basically. So that was a ride. Wow. So which pony did I relate to the most? I'm going to pause the thing here so then you guys can guess in the comments and then I'll reveal it. I was going in my Nardwar moment there. But I think the one that I connected to the most was probably Fluttershy. I'm not sure if that's a common thing or a basic thing in the fan base. But she does music. She was super shy, a lot of social anxiety. But then again, she kind of comes alive in there. And then she's super kind as well. She's understanding. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so adorable. Oh my God. I'm a bro, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can notice the things that are appealing and charming about the show. I think I heavily relate with Fluttershy. I think probably the best one. But really, again, all the ponies had their moment. So there's not really one you can really single out. I guess you could say technically maybe Twilight Sparkle is maybe not the most prominent one. But I think that's kind of a case of the main character sometimes kind of has to be the flat straight man. Or straight pony, I guess I'm saying it. But the thing that was kind of crazy with development was Twilight Spark was very closed off, very reserved, very, I need to get this, need to get this friendship. Screw friendship, I don't need that. Um, but again, friendship in the end was the actual key to unlocking uh, the elements of harmony. And then now in the end, she's like, oh no, I have to leave. And, and, I, and, and now I value friendship. It was such quick character development, but like the fact that she already had like her own arc, <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, yeah, like I'm impressed by so many aspects of this show. In these two episodes that I saw, there's so much that they did correct. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh shit. Sorry for my language. Guys, that's gonna be it. I experienced My Little Pony for the first time and it actually blew me away. So if you guys want to see more, you got to like this. You got to comment this because that's going to tell me that you guys want to see more of this. If not, that's completely fine. Uh, I'm okay with actually just these two episodes being the only things I watched from the series at all because it was that good. I feel like if I go into it more, I feel like I won't like it as much <laughs> just because that's how high the standards are and how quality that these two episodes were exceptional stuff i gotta i gotta clap here i gotta clap Whew. well that's gonna be it for me thank you guys for joining me on my experience with my little pony and there'll be many more experiences for the first time so just you know give me a follow and you'll see Remember also, in the Patreon over there, we're doing a lot of the early access to these episodes. And um, even if maybe some series kind of die, we just put them on there. We'll see. I'm experimenting this month. So if experiments go like this, like My Little Pony, <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's going to be a great time. So thank you guys once again for joining me. I will see you when I see you.